As reported by Fighter Bomber on November 13, 2024, the development of Russia's new NV.17 hybrid helicopter has advanced to the technical design phase, following the completion of its preliminary and draft design stages. The helicopter, developed by Helleboro, is a medium-class helicopter designed for multiple roles, including cargo transport, passenger carriage, and fire support. Russia plans to conduct the helicopter's first flight in 2027. The NV.17 is equipped with a hybrid power plant and a combined control system. It is designed to operate for up to 7 hours on a single fuel reserve and is capable of covering a distance of approximately 50 kilometers in 7 minutes. The helicopter's landing gear is retractable during flight to improve aerodynamic performance. For combat missions, it can be outfitted with unguided rocket launches, adding fire support capabilities to its operational profile. The NV.17 is intended to fill a medium-class role within Russia's helicopter fleet, complementing lighter models like the Ansat and heavy-duty helicopters such as the Mi-26. It is positioned to handle missions requiring greater capacity than light helicopters while avoiding the operational constraints of larger aircraft. Its design also reflects similarities to the Mi-17 which is widely used for transport and military operations. Comparable medium-class helicopters include the American UH-60 Black Hawk and the European NH-90, both of which share the NV-17's emphasis on multi-role capabilities and modern features. Russia is concurrently modernizing other segments of its helicopter fleet. Notable upgrades include attack helicopters such as the Ka-52M and Mi-28NM. The Ka-52M features updated avionics, enhanced targeting systems, and compatibility with new weapons, including the LMUR missile. Deliveries began in early 2023. The Mi-28NM has received upgrades to its engines, radar systems, and defensive measures to support diverse combat scenarios. Transport and utility helicopters are also undergoing upgrades. The Mi-26T2V, a variant of the Mi-26 heavy lift helicopter, has received advanced avionics, improved navigation systems, and additional defensive features. Deliveries to the Russian military began in 2023. The Mi-38T, developed to replace older Mi-8 and Mi-17 models, offers increased payload, extended range, and updated avionics. The first Mi-38T helicopters were delivered to the Russian Ministry of Defense in 2019, with further orders placed. Mi-38T is a new multi-mission military helicopter manufactured by Kazan Helicopter Plant, a subsidiary of Russian helicopters. It is a military variant of the certified Mi-38 multi-role civilian helicopter. The medium-range helicopter made its first flight in November 2018. The Russian Ministry of Defense MOD, took delivery of the first serial Mi-38T helicopter in December 2019. Russian helicopters delivered the second helicopter to the Russian MOD in January 2020. Russian state-owned arms exporter Rosober One Export JSC, a part of the Rostec State Corporation, received the first export contract from a foreign customer to deliver the Mi-38T multipurpose helicopters in January 2020. The Mi-38T multi-role helicopter can be deployed in passenger, cargo transport, medical evacuation, search and rescue, SAR, and utility missions. The rotorcraft integrates a semi-monocoque fuselage including nose and central sections, tail boom, tail boom pylon, stabilizer, and power plant cowlings. It was constructed using Russian-made high-tech components.
The multi-role military helicopter features a conventional single rotor design and incorporates Russian helicopters' advanced technologies. The under fuselage is fitted with a non-retractable landing gear including a nose gear unit, two main gears and a tail unit. The main landing gear units are positioned on either side of the fuselage. The wheel units are installed with hydro pneumatic shock absorbers. MI-38T is also installed with a fuel delivery system integrating explosion protection. It carries additional fuel tanks to increase the flight range. The all-glass cockpit of the MI-38T is installed with an IBK-038 integrated avionics system. It features five multifunctional displays, TDS-12, two multipurpose control and display units, flight navigation and radio communication equipment control panels and units. The IBK-038 avionics system also integrates a radio altimeter, weather navigation radar, distance measuring equipment, ground proximity and air collision warning systems. Special means of protection and secure communication are installed upon the customer's request. The spacious cabin of MI-38T can accommodate up to 40 people or up to 12 wounded personnel on stretchers or up to 30 sitting cases, accompanied by two medical attendants. It can transport a maximum cargo payload up to 5,000 kg in cargo compartment or up to 5,000 kg on an external sling. The MI-38T helicopters can be configured with a VIP interior layout for accommodating passengers in high comfort conditions. The VIP configuration offers comfortable armchairs, sofas, a wardrobe, a kitchen and a bar. The cabin is provided with increased sound insulation. The helicopter can deliver superior performance than other counterparts in its class in terms of cargo load and seating capacities as well as operational range with maximum payload. It is capable of transporting up to a platoon of infantry to a range of up to 800 kilometers, when compared to its competitors with the limited carrying capacity of one or two squads. The helicopter can also be configured for SAR missions. It can hoist personnel and cargo weighing up to 300 kilograms from the land or water in hover mode. The rotorcraft features a rear cargo hatch fitted with a hydraulically operated loading ramp, and a starboard hatch with a wide sliding door. The ramp supports rapid loading and unloading of cargo and equipment, including the rollout of wheeled and tracked vehicles.